Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Colorado Rapids 2, Toronto FC 0, MLS 2024, Week 31. Toronto FC does exactly what they did on Wednesday once again, but plays defense a little bit stronger and doesn't really have any obvious chances. They didn't want to shoot. They didn't shoot well. The chances they had were, honestly, there was no final ball. There was a horrible final ball. Did they hold a lot of possession in the second half post the first goal? Yeah. Should they have scored? If they could shoot, yeah, they could score. They probably should have scored. But here's the problem. They couldn't put it on frame. They had no final ball. It just did not go their way. It just did not go Toronto's way. Halftime, nil-nil. First half, they were very good defensively. I thought defensively they were very good. Defensively, they were tough. They tried to keep this game tied for 45 minutes to try to get the subs in, get the big guns in. The first half was really good. And somehow they still had more expected goals than Colorado at the half. But I don't understand because it didn't look like it to me. But with that being said, you look at this team and you're like, you know what, they could, they could do this. They could play well. They can win. They're tough. They could get a goal against the run of play. And yes, Colorado had a lot of the possession for most of the game, especially at the half. You're like, you know what? Maybe against the run of play, Toronto could figure this out if they could keep this tied. But no, in the end, the 52nd minute after Bernadeschi came on, Lorea and Longstaff, we get Reggie Cannon. Reggie Cannon scores in the 52nd minute to be 1-0. Reggie Cannon scores his first Rapids goal, takes a shot, nutmegs, defender. It slides past, it was Cozy Thompson, he nutmegged, but it slides past Sean Johnson, 1-0. Then 90, 90th minute, Jordy Mihaljevic takes a penalty, Colorado's given a penalty, bad tackle by Mabaka in the box. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. Jordan Mihaljevic has a long run up. Paneka, Sean Johnson, 2-0. After Toronto just couldn't finish. They were sloppy in the final third. They had no final ball. And they pay for it. 2-0 Colorado full-time. Stats are as follows. 16 shots to 9. 8 shots on goal to 1. 56% possession to 44% possession, 500, 459, my bad, 459 passes to 362, 88% pass accuracy to 77% pass accuracy, 13 fouls to 13, 12 off, to not 12, two offside to one, that would be bad if you had 12 offsides, two yellow cards to five, zero red cards to zero, four corners to four, listen, let me tell you something about this team. Let me tell you something about this Toronto team. They, it's it's wild. Like, they, they fight their asses off. That's the good news about this year's team. They are not worst in the league. That's another good news about this year's team. But dear God, are they bang average. Dear God, are they bang average at best. And there's only a couple of players who are worth a damn. Truthfully worth a damn. And there's so much dead wood on this team. It's, it's mind-boggling. I can't wait till the offseason when half these damn horrible contracts go off the books because, Jesus Christ, this team needs to make some moves and open up some cap space. They were bent over a barrel by Bob Bradley and Bill Manning's idiocy, and John Herdman's tried to make the best out of it, I have to admit. And he, for a certain extent, has. He's definitely pulled this team up higher than what they probably actually are. But in the end, that's a barely playoff team and maybe Canadian champions. Do I think the last four games that Toronto have are winnable? Can champ in all three MLS games? Yes, because Miami's falling off a cliff right now, so that's winnable at home. Chicago, Chicago, and Red Bulls is shaky. And we drew them on the road during Leagues Cup. I think we could beat them at home. Vancouver, they just lost to LA Galaxy. I know it's in Vancouver, but... They had just as bad of a scoreline as us. We played very well defensively. I think we can shut down 
And honestly, Colorado has better attackers, in my opinion. I think Colorado's a better offensive team than Vancouver. I don't think Vancouver is as good offensively as Colorado or Columbus. And certainly, maybe a little bit better than Austin, but not so better that it's like, you know what? They're going to rip us to shreds. No, no. Even with their best 11, Gold, Armstrong, White, I don't think so. I, I really don't think so. I think all these last four games are winnable. But at this point, if we want to win the can champ, we have to win on Wednesday. If we want to make the playoffs, we have to win the three league games. At least two out of three of our last three league games. But you probably got to win all three if you don't want to be DC United, which is sit playoff spot, but be eliminated before decision day even starts. And you just get pushed out. That's pretty much where we are. But again, today, I'm going to say it like that. Because you know what? If I talked about the game, it's pretty much me saying the same thing I said on Wednesday. That's exactly what this was. This was the same game as the crew game. This was the same game. Same situation. It was, it was, not, it was not what you wanted to see. Like, seriously, this game was exactly what Wednesday was. Again, good defense by Toronto for most of the game, no finishing ability, and we get beat pretty stupidly twice. That's exactly what this game was. And Colorado, it was at home for Colorado, but Toronto, you could say they, they I wouldn't say deserve better, but they could have earned better, but they didn't because of course they wouldn't. That's, that's where we are. Colorado, they played well. They were sloppy, but they did what they had to do. And I do think Reggie Cannon is better than Rosenberry. He looked really good. Reggie Cannon did. Congratulations to him on opening his Colorado account. But dear God, I mean, really, I don't feel like there's much to say about this game. Toronto just, it wasn't their night. It wasn't their night. And that's, that's what needs to be said. It wasn't Toronto's night. There's your answer. I mean, that's all I could really give you is it wasn't Toronto's night. That's all I could really give you. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Once subscribe. Send some chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in playlists. Share us with friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow for a live watch along and review at 8.05 for Juarez versus Tigres. Domingo Fubarero is back. Been a couple of weeks due to the international break and the fact that Liga Mekis didn't play any Sunday games last week. But we're back with Domingo Fubarero, which is something you all love. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace. See you.